Now, Post Bank is ready to become a state bank. Communications Minister Kumbuzon Chabeni uh, made the announcement earlier this week. And Chabeni says government wants to open over 100 branches. The bank is currently assessing which post uh, office branches will form part of the bank. Now, economist Professor Bonke Tumisa says this is a great idea, but practically it won't work. Uh, he joins me now live to explain what he means by this. Prof, thank you very much for your time. So just explain to us why you're saying uh, it's a great idea on paper but will not work. Is this uh, something that you're saying because of what South Africa is in terms of corruption, etc., or it just generally is something that doesn't work? Okay, let me start with a very small correction but mm. which economists take very seriously. Mm. I'm an independent economic analyst, not, yeah. a, not an economist, even though I studied economics a lot. <laughs> now, let us answer your, your, your <laughs> question. I, 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 am, I am saying that the post bank is a very idealistically great concept, especially for a, a developmental state like South Africa. And that's why people have been calling for a, 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 a state bank for a long time. My challenge with that for South Africa is that when people are talking about a state bank, they are complaining that with the ordinary banks that they go to, including the DFIs, which are the developmental financial institutions where they can raise loans, they say those entities demand too many collaterals. So it means that people just want to go there, take money, borrow money, and no one must bother them if ever they are not able to pay back because there's nothing to fall back into. That's not how the business works. And in South Africa, we have already some bad examples on what I am fearing here. In the past, you'll forgive me, there's a word I'm going to use which some of the listeners may not be comfortable with because of political correctness, but which is the word which was used. In the past, with the there were there were nine Bantu stands, which were called the uh, Black Homelands, where which each one of them had what were, was called a BIC, Bantu Investment Corporation. It was used by the apartheid regime to create a certain myth that those were were self-sustaining uh, places. After the after 1976, after when Transkei was declared an independent state, which was a myth again, then they, with all the homelands, they changed their names to different names, uh, to etc. But one thing which we saw in 1994, when the South African government, the post-apartheid government, took over those uh, BIC entities, which were now called different names it was found that many of them had been raided by the politicians and their cronies giving themselves lots of loans which they had no intention of paying back and they never ever pay them back so i am worried then that with the state bank if ever it starts as it, 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 it was mentioned will they really have good security and many check points and checklists to say, how do we prevent what happened with the BIC entities in the past? And secondly, with the post bank itself, I understand why they want to use it. It is because it already has a, a banking license. Yeah. But when you look at the South African post offices, many of them are dysfunctional. Many people are very uncomfortable going there. So you only see with some of them, long queues of people are coming to get the social grants, but your target market for, for the state bank are not people are going for social grants there. So I'm not really sure if ever people will be comfortable going there. So yeah. it's an idealistically great idea, yeah. but in terms of practice, there are question marks.
Mm, you also quoted saying that the government does not learn from its mistakes. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. Is your reason for saying that it's a great idea but will not work, uh, because, is, that, is, that, is your reasoning also uh, because of our, uh, you know, experience as democratic South Africa with the people who have been at the helm and some of the things that they've been accused of, etc.? Is that also part of the reason why you think that this idea will not work for us? that you you've got it you've got it correctly the we have to learn why is it that we have we have many developmental financial institutions already in south africa why is it that they're not working if you look at their history and what has happened there then you can you can see why the state is not comfortable using some of them as the footprint for this state bank so if mm. ever we don't, we have not solved those problems, how will we solve this with the new state bank? As I keep on repeating, it is not a bad idea. Unfortunately, we've learned in South Africa that many great ideas end up being a corruption passion where yeah. people just go there for corruption. How will we make sure that when people say they don't have they don't they don't have collateral so and they cannot provide any any security and you give them loans how will you make sure that they 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 get loan i understand that i'm i'm from the town i'm from the township i had yeah. to leave umlazi and go to one of the old money setups because i could not i could not get, raise Access. enough insurance for my property there Okay. So people have got to find alternatives around this thing of a collateral.